overflows. Consciousness without thinking. Someone said, I choose the topic for these talks on my own. And sometimes I don't like to listen. Very true. When you are traveling, you know your destination where you have to go. If you do not need to know the destination, you cannot enter the flight. So does the pilot comes and asks you whether you like the flight, whether you are comfortable or not, or he chooses what, how he should fly the plane according to your liking so that you can sit down in the plane. But one thing is certain that he does not fly the plane according to your likings or to make you comfortable. A certain amount of comfort is necessary. Whether you like to sit down in the plane is not the concern of the pilot as long as you are flying that flight. But one thing is certain, he will take you to your destination. So too is these talks. If you are interested in transformation, you come on this flight. Otherwise, you choose what you like. And one thing is certain, when you ride this flight, one day certainly you will reach your destination. Consciousness without thinking is awareness. Doing brings and strengthens ego and egocentric identities. Ego is the shadow of actions and there is only one thing that is not doing and that is awareness, watchfulness or witnessing. The only thing that is not the part of the world of actions is pure awareness. No shadow is created by pure awareness. It is so pure that light can pass through it. It is transparent and no shadow is created. Consciousness without thinking is awareness. And awareness alone can transform you, can take you to your destination. Being alert and with no thought is benediction. Try it. Whenever you see thinking, gathering momentum, disperse it. Pull yourself out of it. Look at the trees without screens of thinking between you and the trees. Listen to the chirping of the birds with no chirping of the mind inside. Mind continues to chirp. Look at the sun rising and feel that inside you also a sun of consciousness is rising. But do not think about consciousness. Do not think about the rising of the sun or anything or assert it or state or say. Simply be and by and by you will start feeling glimpses of awareness arising and spreading out of you as if a fresh breeze has entered into your room and which was the room that was getting still and dead or as if a ray of light has entered into the dark night of your soul or dark clouds. As if suddenly life has called you back or suddenly as if there is lightning amidst the clouds. The deeper your watchfulness becomes in the same proportion your awareness deepens and then gaps and intervals start arising. One thought comes and then has disappeared. Just as a car passes on the in front of you on a road and 
bypasses you and then disappears from your sight. But the next car has not yet, next vehicle has not yet come. There is a gap. One cloud has passed and before another cloud comes, there is a gap. Standing on a busy road, a vehicle passes, then the next vehicle has not yet passed. There is a gap between the two. In those gaps, for the first time, you can get the taste of Zen, Tao or Yoga or whatever you may want to call. Names do not matter. In those small, small intervals, suddenly the world is full of mystery because all barriers have been dropped. You are in open space. The screen on your eyes is no more there. You can see clearly and penetratingly. Then whole existence becomes transparent for you. you. There is no, everything becomes easy for you to understand and penetrate through. In the beginning, these moments will be just rare, few and far in between, as if the gap between the cars is a small. Then slowly and slowly the gap between two vehicles passing on the road becomes more and more. But they will give you the glimpse of what Samadhi is when the gap between two thoughts or two feelings begins to widen in those gaps, you will get the first glimpse of Samadhi. Like a small pools of silence, they will come and then disappear, come and disappear until they can make a permanent place in you. But now you know that you are on the right track. You start watching again. When a thought passes, you watch it disappearing, fading, as we call in the terms of music. Music before another. Music begins. The first one fades. A screen on your television set fades and dissolves into the next one that is coming. This is an important technique of making the videos so they do not look separate from one another. Instead, one fades and dissolves into the other and out of that, a next one arises on your screen. And when an interval passes, that too you watch. Clouds are also beautiful so is sunrise. Everything is beautiful. Now you are not a chooser and you do not have a fixed mind. Mind means an idea. You do not say that I would like only the intros. Whatsoever comes and happens you are aware. That is stupid because once you become attached to intervals alone or something else, you have decided against thinking. Deciding against anything, positive thinking or anything is erroneous. And then those intervals will disappear. They happen only when you are very distant and aloof. They happen spontaneously. They cannot be brought. They just happen and you cannot force them to happen. All these happen on their own. They are spontaneous happenings. Go on watching. 
go on watching bird watching go on watching the birds you will see a flock of the birds come flying and then passes in front of the main screen and then disappears go on watching let thoughts come and go you keep on watching a television set one scene comes you are watching it then scene fades disappears another scene comes in when you are do watching a march past or anything a troop a group of people come doing their performance and they continue walking as they perform and then they disappear let thoughts move in total freedom and take their due course and then bigger intervals will be coming you will be blessed with the small satories sometimes they will pass and no thought will be there as if there is no traffic and there is total silence undisturbed a buddha is not a man of concentration instead he is a man of awareness he has been trying to narrow down the his consciousness on the contrary he is not trying to narrow down his consciousness instead he is trying to drop all barriers that come along the way existence is simultaneous i am speaking here and traffic the noise is continuously happening simultaneously cars may be speeding on the road blowing horns birds chirping dogs barking people talking insensibly music blaring all these things keep on happening i am speaking to you and millions of things are going on it is tremendously rich concentration makes you one pointed at the cost of discarding 99% of life if you are solving a mathematical problem you cannot listen to the birds they will create a distraction children playing around dogs barking both in the street and the yard as well they will be distraction because of concentration people have tried to escape from life and go to the mountains and caves and remain isolated so they can concentrate on god but god is not an object god is the wholeness of existence this very precise moment god is totality that is why science has never been able to know god if you do not take the lamp of awareness with you you are going to create a hell around you light your lamp within you and go on quoting not quoting that is not the point wherever you go whatever you do always do it in the inner light with total awareness enough for now